Does your family's water smell like bleach or ammonia? Those chloramines in your water, are they causing skin irritation and rashes? What about your coffee and tea? How does that taste? Are your pets drinking the water that has chloramines in it? That can't be good. What are chloramines and why are they added to your water supply anyway? In this video, I'm going to show you the cheapest and the best way of getting rid of those chloramines from your family's water, starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. There's a number of ways of removing chloramines from your family's water. I'm going to explain the pros and the cons of each one. By the end of this video, you'll know which method is best for your family. Also, I suggest you watch this video right to the end because I've got a great tip that's going to save your family hundreds of dollars while also removing those pesky chloramines from your family's water. So what are chloramines anyway? It's a way of disinfecting water. Basically, they use chlorine and ammonia together and that's what makes chloramines. So what's the advantage of, of why do they add the ammonia to the chlorine? It's because it makes the disinfectant last longer. It makes the residual last longer so they can use, it's a lower cost way of disinfecting the water basically. If you'd like to learn more about the chloramine disinfection process, I've got a great YouTube video that talks all about that. I'll put a link in the description down below. So why is your city or municipality adding a disinfectant to your water? Well, you have to realize they have to make sure the water that's being delivered to your home is bacteria free for your family. That's obvious. So what happens is as the water passes from the, the uh, water processing plant to your home, it passes through a whole series, miles and miles of pipe. And some of that pipe is over a hundred years old. So they need to make sure that as the water is passing through all those pipes, that your water still is bacteria free by the time it arrives at your family's home. So that chloramine disinfectant is a great way of making sure the water arrives to your home bacteria free. But is it something you and your family want to be drinking? Absolutely not. If you think drinking and bathing in water that has disinfectants in it, like chloramines, is a bad idea for your family, you're definitely correct. So what's the cheapest way of removing chloramines from your family's water? Well, unlike chlorine, which you can just put in a bowl, let it sit out in the air, oxidize out the chlorine, that doesn't work with chloramines because that ammonia is creating that disinfectant residual in the water that lasts a long time. So you need to use a filter. So again, you need to use a special filter. Not just any carbon filter will remove chloramines. So we have these chloramine filters, that'll definitely work. So if you're looking at removing the chloramines just for your drinking water, what you can do is you can put a small filter housing with one of these small filters and connect it up to the cold water line running to your kitchen sink and use that for your family's water for drinking, for watering the plants, for uh, giving water to the pets. Another way of removing chloramines from your family's drinking water is with a reverse osmosis drinking water system like this one here. So we do have a version that has the chloramine filters built into it. It's included and you need to make sure you specify that one to make sure it's removing the, the chloramines from your water. Now, not only will that remove the chloramines, it'll also remove a lot of other um, impurities from the water. It'll give you super pure reverse osmosis water. But again, only one dedicated faucet at the kitchen sink. It's not a whole house solution. So talking about whole house solutions, can you use these on the whole house? Absolutely not. They're far too small and, uh, and you'd only get about one gallon per minute flow rate, which definitely wouldn't be enough for the whole house and they would only last probably a few days or a week. Can you get larger versions of these filters? Absolutely. There's a 20 inch big blue version of these filters. The problem is they're very expensive and you're going to find they're only going to last you a month, maybe two tops, and you're constantly going to be changing those filters. So after a couple of years, the, the price will just become prohibitive for using cartridge filters for removing chloramines. Can you use just a cartridge, uh, carbon filter for that? No, it has to be a certain kind of carbon filter. Make sure you keep that in mind that you have to look for a carbon filter that's specifically made for chloramine removal. So the best whole house solution for most families is going to be an automatic backwashing filter that uses catalytic carbon like our Hume Center Carbon Automatic Backwashing Filter. So this one here gets connected to the plumbing as the water comes into your home. It actually goes before your water softener as it passes through the catalytic carbon. The um, chloramines are 
accumulated inside the filter, they're trapped by the catalytic carbon, and then after a few days of use, they automatically backwash to clean themselves. So the beauty of the system is there's no filters to replace, there's no chemicals to add, nothing like that. It just automatically goes through its cycle. You don't even have to push any buttons. It's programmed to do that automatically every four or five days, and that's what will remove the chloramines for your family. And by the way, if you're not sure whether your municipality uses chlorine or chloramines to disinfect the water, what you can do is just give the water department a call and just ask them to use chlorine or to use chlorine with ammonia making chloramines. And by the way, if you're looking for more information about how our Hume automatic backwashing chloramine removal filter works, I've got a great YouTube video that explains the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below. You definitely want to check that out. So what's the best solution for removing those chloramines from your family's water? Well, if you're on a tight budget, those filter cartridges, installing it on the water line, going to the kitchen cold faucet. If in addition to removing the chloramines, you also want to get super pure reverse osmosis drinking water, then a drinking water system like this Hume Water Saver 75 with chloramine removal is a, definitely a good choice. But again, that does only a drinking water. And for a whole house solution, our Hume automatic backwashing chloramine removal filter is definitely the way to go. No filters to change, no maintenance whatsoever. Keep in mind too that those chloramines running through your water softener are definitely going to ruin the media. So you can save your family hundreds of dollars by installing uh, one of our Hume automatic backwashing chloramine removal filters before the water softener to remove those chlorines. That way you'll save your family hundreds of dollars. And if you're looking for where you can get some more information about our Hume automatic backwashing chloramine filters, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on automatic backwashing filters, and I'll see you there.